From comic books to television, motion pictures to action figures, this is the story of my why. This is the story of a collector. Why? Why? Well, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of This Is My Why. You're probably wondering, what's the setup? What's the deal? Which is the why for this week? Could it be a return of the xenomorph? No, could it be Pit and his little buddy looking at, well, those dinosaurs are looking behind him at the other, ooh, Cassandra Peters and Elvira. Or is it, of course, the mighty T-R-M-T Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the last running, Kevin Eastman, Science Editions. Well, let's find out. Well, there's a backstory to about what you're about to see, ladies and gentlemen, and I hope you don't take too much shock with this. Uh, uh, why? Yes, you're gonna want to wonder why it's happening. Why I can't cut through this. There I am cutting the signature. Cutting it for you. Why? Why you ask? Why? Why? You ducky mushroom. Oh! Why? Oh, guy. Oh, guy. Tell me why have I done this? Oh! Oh! What have I done? The other one, please. <laughs> Why am I cutting through them? I can't believe it, the horror! The agony, what the hell is happening? Don't give me the last one, please don't do it! Say the words! Colleagues, anyone! Ah, you. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is my why. Oh yeah, he has fallen down with sadness. It is, it is done. It is the turn, the comics. Oh, the sadness, I have done it. Yes, what you have just witnessed is the, 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 the filing of the last one in covers of the Kevin Eastman signatures. Why? Why do you ask this? Well, let me give you an explanation. You're going to love this. So, working with Team Kesai, I received my uh, limited edition, apparently, uh, signed the last runes. I have now cut them, as you can see, in three different ways, three different panels. All right, just as requested by customer service. These were originally received in a sleeve, not in a big box that you would think hefty box, in addition to two other comics, the limited editions, special Kevin Eastman, okay? These were received in a sleeve. It rolls around. It was not Gemini comic supply. It was not hefty duty, you name it. It was a sleeve that wrapped around. I've got photos in the viewfinder if you want to check them out. Those are the photos in the slideshow. He always sent bent, you know, it caused it to compress. These aren't cheap, ladies and gentlemen, now they're uh, five cents. Maybe not even that. Okay, this is what customer services asked of me to do to my Potter role model type. <laughs> and I was looking forward to reading them too. But of course, there's digital, yeah, yeah. I'll catch up later. But I'm just a little saddened by the fact that they've, they've been sent correctly in the first place that we would not have had this. So what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen, is they're willing to rectify the problem by sending me four replacements. But if you think anything less regarding trust, I'm figuring this is why I had to and was requested. And I'll even show you the emails where it says, please cut them up. Okay, in various little pieces. Right through the signature. So the signature obviously is made void. They won't be made again. Maybe there's limited copies. I don't know. I haven't asked yet. I'm still in the process. I just wanted to give you an example of this is my why. I picked them up because they're a limited edition signed by the good man, Kevin Eastman himself, okay? I received them in a sleeve. You find her can attest to that. Properly packaged goods. Think of the Grinch when he once said it. He himself said, improperly packaged. Okay, that's what these were. To avoid this in the future, and granted the comics are probably worth exactly what they're worth, the paper, printing, and books, or whatever the heck they ship to them, and the manufacturing of things, and grind of it all. But doing process improvement, doing it right the first time, not having to hear from a customer, hey, this is this is what has happened before. Yes, there was another incident, in, incident with one of the covers, I believe, it had Casey Jones's poor little uh, mask on it, and it was a black and white. I have that 
back somewhere trying to get re you know we had the little bends and stuff and i thought ah, you know what do you do and this time no not with this this is something that needs to be rectified don't send them in a sleeve or they're going to get compressed you've got multiple online customers to compete with and that in you know tfaw you, know, you name the comic place big league customers they're sending them in gemini comic supply one at a time if they have to have not in a big fat box I shouldn't have had to have done this, but hey, it's the perfect opportunity. You guys got to see it live, and here's the sadness. The sadness, ladies and gentlemen. All oh, the little characters still can't believe it. Can, can you believe it? Inconceivable! Exactly. Exactly is what I thought. I thought maybe, maybe you'd get a refund. No? Maybe you would get a replacement. Yes. Never in my heart would I have seen this happen. Now granted, I can sympathize. Perhaps there's evildoers out there who would want to just take what is seemingly bent and just sell it anyway because it's not mint near mint great. I don't, you know, that whole CGC thing, that's a bit, someone wants to have a trust in, that's fine. Go for it. Pay the extra money to get a test that those buggers have looked at and said, I give my smell of approval. In this particular instance, this is the comic. Take care of your comics. Not learn and know how to store your comics. Correctly poly bag them, correctly box them, play and display. Your figures the same way. If you're a mint and package collector, I mean, look, there, there's only so many ways you can take care of stuff. And then the other manufacturer of said item, package it correctly the first place so we don't have the horror. This, I couldn't, I still can't bring myself to doing it. I sent multiple correspondences back and forth saying, hey, look, this is what happened. Here it shows all the bends and bends and the, the bind, the, the, the spines it's separated apart from there, which it might remain to be able to see if I, you know, if I zoomed in. But the idea behind it is that he finally came back and said, oh, we apologize. It was a misunderstanding. Please slice up right through them. I said, they were squished. They were bent at the ends because they were mispackaged. You want me to what? Yeah, slide through them all, both three. No, they're just like with the McFarlane covers. Never to be made again, these particular issues. Well, I'm not even going to bother with them. I just thought it was sad. Uh, so, I, I would rather send them back. What good are they now? I'm going to say, yeah, I've done what you want. I've done your goods. Please send me a sleeve so I can send them back to you. What good are they? I'm going to put them in recycle. I think this is really sad and tragic. But, a good opportunity for this is my wife. Friends, Romans, countrymen. Lend me your ears. Cassandra, lend me your, uh, ooh, your assistance. Maybe in next week's episode, yeah? Maybe we'll get away. But, ladies and gentlemen, the total collectors everywhere. Hey, team is, is cooperating. I appreciate it. But I would rather there be process improvement going forward. So I picked these up. I'm a big fan of the turtles. Won't stop being. Love that Kevin Eastman and Peter Little put them together. Fantastic. I'll never be disheartened by this event. Saturn. Of course, by process, logistics, okay? But not by what the aura and inspiration that these folks have given me. Watch them on Netflix, all right? Check out uh, this, uh, what's this, uh, the toys they made us, there you go. And check out This Is My Why. You know, this, this is a beautiful inspiration motivated by both. And that's what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. My why was to pick these up based on past events, based on those documentaries, to aspire to become more, to become an intellectual property of my own, hence the state of heresy and core kicks in the mighty theaters. T7! Okay, so this was a great learning experience. Again, if you're ordering, make sure you stand up, you make your voice being heard, so that you're not having to say, well, I'm going to accept what I was given. No, this is a lesson to be learned. We want process improvement, especially with items that were cheap. Well, this is my why to be broadcast at a later date I just thought I'd share with you my fans you're my fans you're the reason I'm doing this it's good therapy of course to have fear and, and me and the aesthetics of it all what do I collect all this stuff because it's also fun to see inconceivable oh no of course our lady Cassandra Peterson is a virus the mysteries of the dark alien xenomorphs the bit it's like it all started and it's come through circle but of course I want to say thank you everybody this is my wife